Hey guys, it's Mark with Hallmark Pool Supplies. And in this video, we're gonna talk about five things we should avoid doing with our sand filter. Now before me, I have the S244T by Hayward. It's a top mount sand filter. And it really doesn't matter what sand filter you have, this list that we're gonna go over will pretty much pertain to any sand filter that's out there. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the multiport handle. And this is the device that we use to change positions on our filter. We never want to rotate this or operate this unless we turn off the pump first. Never rotate this while the pump is running because you can definitely damage the multiport. And when we rotate this, I like to rotate this in one direction. It's for better wear. If you guys rotate it clockwise, counterclockwise, you're not hurting anything, but if you run it in one direction, it does wear better. So next, we want to make sure that if this multiport is put into the closed position that we do not run the pump. When it is enclosed, we are then typically working or servicing the unit, and it is very important that when it is enclosed, we do not run the pump, because if we run the pump and we leave this valve enclosed, we can definitely damage the multiport as well and that's something you don't wanna do. So third on the list pertains to backwashing, and we wanna make sure that we backwash the filter enough, but not too much, but then on the other hand, it's very important that when we add chemicals, we're not backwashing right away. So if you have to add chemicals, backwash first. If you don't need to backwash, you can add your chemicals, and then 24 hours after adding chemicals, if you need to backwash, that's fine. The average pool especially during the swimming season, is gonna be backwashed about every seven to 10 days. Now, I did make a video called Basic Filter Operation. In fact, I made it on this exact system here, and I do go in more detail in regards to the operation of this filter, how everything works, all the positions, what they are, when to use them, what they're for. And if you guys wanna check that out, I will post a link to that video down below so you guys can check it out. So next on the list, we don't want to enclose the filter system. The system is made and designed to be out in the weather, in the rain. In fact, the pump needs to breathe. And if you do enclose the filter system or you want to cover it up, you can do so, but make sure you have adequate ventilation. If you close the system up and you don't have ventilation, you're going to end up burning up the motor on the pump and you're going to go through one motor after another after another. Over the years, I've seen so many people uh, with these doghouse structures that they put over the filter system uh, to protect the system. And if you don't have adequate ventilation, then that's not good. And another thing that I'd like to add to that is if you do close the system in, make sure that you have adequate room and space to get to the unit so you can service it. I've seen way too many systems out there uh, enclosed and then you need to service the system and you can't get to it because there's no room to work. On another note, if you guys have any questions or you run into any uh, difficult pool related problems, check out my Patreon page. As a patron, you can actually book phone sessions with me. I can even do virtual service calls and I will be glad to help. So last but not least on the list, we wanna make sure that we don't go over five years without changing sand. And that's based on an average. The average swimming pool, you're changing sand about every three to five years. I've seen some people change sand in two years and I've seen some people go longer than five. It really depends on housekeeping, how well you maintain the pool, how clean, how dirty the pool stays, how many people are using the pool, uh, the environment where you live, the type of chemicals you're using. All of this plays a factor in regards to the life of the sand, and how do you know when you need to change sand? Well, if you're having to backwash more than uh, normal or you're having to use more chemicals to keep your pool clear, that's a sign that you probably need to change the sand. And when you do change the sand, you wanna use a number 20 silica sand and at the same time, some filter systems have air relief valves. So when you go to change sand, you turn off the system, you can open up the air relief valve, uh, lets the pressure out, so then you can open the tank and change the sand. This particular filter system here does not have an air relief valve, so we don't need to worry about it, but some systems do, and I just wanted to add that as a second note. I did make a video on changing the sand in your filter with this exact system here again, and I will post a video down below in regards to that if you guys want to check it out. So at this time, I would like to thank all my patrons as well as my subscribers uh, for your support of this channel. Without you guys, this channel would not be possible. 
I want to thank everybody for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that like and subscribe button for future content. I hope that this video was helpful. Definitely remember us at Hallmark Pool Supplies for all your pool needs. My name is Mark. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next video.